you just can't come out of the gate and just be dope right away. You just can't. I don't think. And if somebody's like that, then of course they're going to excel to the top. I grew up in New Haven, Connecticut. Uh, this uh, town with inside New Haven called Hamden. New Haven's famous for a bunch of things: pizza, Yale University, Skull and Bones. Um, it's where the cheeseburger was created. Music was really big in my family. My father worked for um, Atlantic Records, so like I grew up with like the Rolling Stones and AC/DC and like all this Led Zeppelin and like all these bands that you know, of course, their logos that I would just draw over and over. I went from you know, because I was so much into music that I got into hip hop like around 84, maybe 83. Because I would visit my father in the city, I would take the train back and forth from Connecticut to New York all the time. And there was just so much graffiti. So because I was already down with drawing, I, it was just a natural progression. And um, I actually started to DJ too. It was awesome because at that particular time in my life, I had these three elements which I was just constantly involved in. On top of it, I was a skateboarder, so the graffiti also went over there. Just, it seemed like everything at one time in my life, all the things that I was into, it was just a natural progression of art. It was like, just, you know. I just got back from college. I got a job at a screen printing place. I had to do those wind socks. I don't know if you've ever seen them. They're actually like nylon. And the nylon, every time I went over it, kept on static clinging to the screen so I was getting a fuzzy print and my boss left me alone and I was like how do I you know how do I stop this and I just ended up roaching the whole job and I got fired <laughs> after it was one day <laughs> I, yeah I'd have to say my first disappointment was that you know getting laid off at that screen printing job because here is something that I I I, I wanted to do so badly I mean this was like, you know, I was just, I was focused on doing this. What I've noticed in life is like, when those things happen, they happen because something better's right around the corner. And it's odd like that, but it, it's, it's really true. Like every time you screw up, you're learning. And to take that lesson and then grow off of it and build off of it, that's what I, I would say life is about. I mean, I'm glad I went through my growing pains. I'm sure younger Sket would be like, fuck that, but I'm actually happy about it. And then I did some, I got into music. Um, you know, the DJ side of me, my creative side kind of, I went into um, learning how to actually become an engineer. And uh, I moved to Florida, then I came back up here and I got a job at a sign shop. And that's when my life like changed. I was in the sign shop learning neon my whole tabletop, I would draw on. So my boss came in and he saw my table and he was like, why are you doing neon? You should be in the art room. So I started painting signs. That transition came where computers came into the sign shop and they were like, you have to learn this. And I was like, all right, you're gonna pay me to learn it. So all right, I'll learn it. And that's when I learned computers. Well, I wanna do a shoe. I'd like to do a sneaker. I'd like to have my own sneaker just because I'm, I, I love sneakers. I've gotten to work in, I think, every industry that, I've, that I grew up in that was culturally like um, part of my life. So Nike has been a big part of my life. I would like to do a project for them. Um, definitely an Air Max. Definitely an Air Max. <laughs> uh, yeah, just uh, if you really want to do it, you can't give up. You gotta stay, you gotta stay focused. You're gonna have a lot of people trying to tell you not to do it. You can't have any expectations. If you have expectations, um, you're gonna get hurt. You know, you gotta be able to take criticism. You gotta be able to realize that you're not gonna please everyone. You gotta realize that, you know, there's not going to, like, you're not going to get everyone to like your stuff. And you don't have to worry about that because at the end of the day, I think as long as you're creating, that's what's going to bring you happiness. I think that's what brings artists happiness is just being able to do what they love. So, how's it going? I'm Sket One, artist, designer, and toy maker. <laughs>